What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use gradient maps within Photoshop. But before we start, I just want to give you a quick update. Uh, I know I haven't posted uh, part 3 in the intro tutorial series for quite a while. Part 2 was 3 weeks ago. Uh, I will have part 3 up soon, and I also want to tell you that I can't find the project file for the stuff we did in part 2 where we applied the uh, we put in light and applied materials and I'm also not happy with mine saying ABC as the example so I'm going to change the letters it says and I'll also apply some different materials but the lighting setup will be in the set be the same I'm just warning you that um, what I'm doing in the tutorial will look slightly different but the basics will uh, still be the same so part one and two are st uh, aren't useless you can still use them I'm just warning you that what I use in part three will look slightly different so part three will be up soon but in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use gradient maps so let's get on with it now gradient maps give a really nice effect to your work they're best used in photo manipulation and they just make it look really cool uh, I know Pequam uses them quite a lot in his speed arts and I just love the effect they give them and I'm going to be showing you how you can use that effect too. So here we have a picture, an image that you could use in a photo manipulation speed art and it looks a bit dull at the moment, we've got these kind of dull greens so we want to solve that using a gradient map. To apply a gradient map uh, you want to come down to this circle here, half black, half white, click on that and come down to gradient map and the default gradient map is black to white which can look cool but we want to be a bit more interesting so to change the colors click on the box with the gradient in and you'll be presented with these colors these gradients, you won't have as many as me, all of these I downloaded from the internet these are custom ones uh, you'll only have about uh, 10 but as you can see as I click through them uh, they give a really weird effect and don't worry we will solve this uh, this is not what uh, the final product will look like once we finish with the gradient map this is the first step but how it works is the left color I'll click on this one the left color uh, highlights or takes place um, takes the place of all the dark patches and the uh, right hand color takes place um, takes the place of all the light patches so in here the red is filling in all the dark parts and the green is filling in all the light parts and as you can see that's right see this tree trunk is black is really dark and at the back we've got this really light um, this white light coming through and if I click here we've got the red tree trunk because it's very dark and the green at the back because it's very light so uh, you can apply one of these preset gradients if you like these but if you don't like them uh, you can either pick a two color gradient or a three color gradient or if you really want you can pick a more wacky gradient such as a four color but I'm just going to be showing you um, I'm going to show you two and three color today so uh, let's go with this one so it's good to pick colors that are present in the original image so I've got a green here that's good and if you want to change the color so you don't want to use a preset one you want your own custom one just click on the arrow and click in the color box or you can double click the arrow and then mess around with the color move it about so I think we'll go for a bright pink there we go okay this is probably going to look quite weird so I'm going to click OK and then we're going to go back to our layers and we're going to make this look a lot better and to do this you want to come to your blending mode and you want to change the blending mode to either soft light or overlay these are the best modes that I've found so I'm going to put it on overlay and that looks uh, pretty weird now if you look at this there's the original image and here's the gradient map applied so I'm gonna ch I'm not I don't really like that gradient map I'm gonna change it so I'm gonna use this one 
oh that, that looks good it kind of gives um, an old film effect quite a, a old fashioned effect I know PCOM uses um, this one uh, quite a bit and this is probably one of the best and now I'll show you something a bit more wacky if we go for this rainbow one now that look that was quite a weird effect or if we just go for these simple black and white go to black and white go back to layers disable it and enable it and it just brings out all the dark and light patches makes them a lot more interesting try this one now that makes it quite bright blue add a blue tint add an orange tint and you just want to play around really find the best gradients find some cool effects and it really does give a nice effect if you find some nice colors to apply so I'm gonna leave it with the purple to orange I really like that so I hope this tutorial was helpful and will make your speed arts look a lot nicer a lot more interesting uh, if you like the video please uh, give it a like and this, that's pretty much it, how to use gradient maps and what they look like, how they can make you work better. So this is Cruise Designs, please comment, rate and subscribe, it really helps me and thank you for watching this video.